We're coming to you live from Tombstone, Arizona at Sold Out Chimera Stadium. This is global warming at its finest, folks. It's a scorching 116 degrees today, but thankfully, it's a dry heat. The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for NFL action. The Malice Hellboys take on the Cardinal Sins. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hello once again, everyone. Grim here along with Brickhead Mulligan. Huh? Hey, how'd your checkup go? Well, good news, bad news. Doc says I passed my physical. Oh, well, that's good. But I flunked my mental. Not too good. Well, I, it's 50-50. Better odds than I get in Vegas. Get a point. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And the defense gives up five yards there. Second and three. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. This reminds me of a lap dance I had by a skeleton once. Oh, yeah, after the mayhem ball at that club six feet under. And yeah, my wife could smell the bone there on me when I got home. Big trouble. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes. Hitting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and two. And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football, he gets away in a hurry. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. for a first down to keep the drive alive. First and four. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, he does have some turkeys getting wrapped on his backside from that bad burn he had last year. 
Hey, when I ball, I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Bob? Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. First down. And it's first and ten. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all you can eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. Oh, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Oh, you're telling me. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was on to the races. Hey, you see that little lady? No, you didn't. You know why? It's not too fast. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. He's into in there for a four-yard gain. And that'll bring him third down and seven. Chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. a killer it was right there and then he dropped it ah oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league and this game is up for grabs third and four he is fighting for every well, that play didn't work he'll have to rethink that And get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy and he gets three points for it. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's 
going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy of that. Third down and six. Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you're mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. And they'll line up for the punt here. Punter has one job to do, and that's pump the ball. Preferably further than that. He's got the ball now, and he's going to try and... Boom! And it's first and ten. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Slipped away like a greased pig. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. They're going for two points. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. First down! I see this guy 
did drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And that's a catch for three yards. Second down and seven. That one's incomplete. The receiver couldn't get there. And need to get his mother. And that'll bring up third down and seven. He had it for a second there. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is at palm grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. They just let that one drop and played safe, and the defense says we'll take it. And it's first and ten. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good... They quickly call a timeout, hoping to save some time for their offense. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. was a bone crusher right there, folks. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. That would have been a disappointing run. It's even a worse throw. Second down. They used their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point. And drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I'd do. Ghost. Ghost. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, Gordon, did it? How good can it be? Third down and five. He 
was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I hit my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. First down to five. Teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Down and long. Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Third down and nine. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Second down and ten.
left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he's got a chance for a pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Oh, with a punishing hit. Third down and, well, good luck. Game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong Il. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, with a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Murphy Brown! What? I mean, first down! What the hell was that? I, uh... The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. And it's first and ten. First and ten. They're taking what the defense has given them. That's a four-yard gain on the reception. Hey, less than a white for the headed. Second down and six. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Second down and ten. Oh, and he looks like he just saw four scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. And he held on to that one.
going for a first down. And it's first and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. And that'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And it's first and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Call man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. This is going to be a long kick. Let's see if he can make it. He's got the distance, and the kick is good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Right. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. First and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat off rim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. My friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. point attempt. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to The defense calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And it's first and ten.
five-yard gain on that pass play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put... The, the defense has to make something happen here with one timeout left. Second down and five. Shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down, and that's their last timeout. The defense can't bend or break. They've got to get a stop here. And it's first and ten. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. moving he picks up five on that play third down and five and he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive and it's first and ten Footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. The Cardinal Sins will go home losers today. The home team comes up two points short and a real heartbreaker. It was also a backbreaker, a knee breaker, and a neckbreaker. What?